acting isn't all glitz and glam. It can be a very hard and strenuous job and is oftentimes not what we thought it was, especially for those who started acting in their early childhood years. Sometimes actors or actresses decide that they've had enough and choose to leave the limelight of the silver screen in pursuit of more traditional money-making ventures. You won't believe where some of the actors from these cult classics ended up. To start off our list, let's talk about Jeff Cohen, who played Chunk in the 1985 cult classic, The Goonies. Best known for his truffle shuffle, Chunk was a chronic liar who loved food, but the actor was nothing like the beloved character he portrayed on screen. Jeff Cohen was a childhood actor who only had three movies on his acting resume before deciding to retire. <laughs> It's great to go into a shopping mall, you know, during Christmas shopping and while you're waiting in line just sit there. Just when the world thought that Chunk had become a memory of the past, the Cohen and Gardner law firm was founded in 2002. Well, after his time on screen, Jeff Cohen ventured into law. He attended the University of California in both Berkeley and Los Angeles. And, you know, I talked to Dick about it. You know, I didn't realize at the time that I was actually uh, beginning the long evolution from chunk to the hunk that stands before you today. The Haas School of Business in 1996, and then finished off his schooling career by attending the UCLA School of Law in the year 2000. Jeff Cohen never truly left Hollywood. Instead, this once iconic childhood actor works in the industry as an entertainment lawyer, which, when you really think about it, it's kinda crazy. Pitch it now, yeah, I don't think so. Guys, roll it, everyone else. Let's do this, yeah. right? Yeah, right. But Jeff Cohen isn't the only actor to become a lawyer after their time on the big screen. Lucas Babin is most well known for two things his role as Spider in the 2003 movie School of Rock, and his role in issuing charges of child pornography against Netflix. Yes, you heard that right. Hey, you in a band? No, no. In 2014, Babin finished his law degree from the University of Houston. Four years later, Babin ran for the Tyler County DA seat and won it. His term began in 2019. I'm sure a lot of you will remember the controversial Netflix film Cuties and the backlash that the film received. Well, in 2020, Lucas Babin of the Tyler County District Court filed charges against Netflix for promoting depictions of the lewd exhibition of a child. That charge was later dropped and instead replaced with four much stronger and much more serious charges, child pornography. Ah. The once iconic on-screen guitar player turned lawyer has a fierce and hard hand for the law, and it doesn't stop there either. Lucas Babin, who hasn't even been a lawyer for 10 years, has his eye on a congressional seat. We love this for him. But again, Jeff Cohen and Lucas Babin aren't the only iconic actors who pursued further education in law. Bridget Mendler, who starred in Disney's Good Luck Charlie, actually became a doctor of law. Well, she will be finishing her degree in law next year. But Mendler has been receiving her education from the Harvard School of Law, which is insanely impressive. Do you have a boyfriend now? Here. Okay, girls, forget about your phones. But her education doesn't stop there. Nope. Bridget Mendler is also currently pursuing a Doctor of Philosophy degree at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. She can't keep her hands off those books. As of right now, her future career plans are uncertain. But after her last role in 2019 wrapped up, the actress decided there was something a little more fulfilling out there. Well, to that I say, go girl, get that bread. It's not that. I just, I haven't told my dad that we're dating yet. <laughs> and... If you thought we were done talking about Hollywood stars turned lawyers, then I'm sorry to say, but you're wrong. Remember Teddy Dunn, who played Duncan Kane in the 2004 mystery series Veronica Mars? Well, he went on to become a lawyer as well. Arguably, Dunn is the most successful out of the four thus far. The sheriff, and that had a certain cachet. Let's be honest, though. Dunn received a minor in political science from Northwestern University before attending the Boston College of Law, where he received his Doctor of Laws degree in 2013. Uh, hey, babes. It's our song. 
Dunn now serves as the assistant United States attorney in the District of Columbia. Dunn retired from acting in 2009 in order to further his education. He began his law career in 2011, when he became a legal intern at the Office of the Attorney General of Massachusetts. What happened? Duncan, what happened? Is there a saying about Hollywood producing more lawyers than anywhere else? Because if not, there needs to be one. Now, this is the last one, I promise. But who doesn't remember Robin Williams' iconic film Hook? If you do, then you'll remember Lil Old Jackie. Charlie Corsmo portrayed the tearful youth, Jack Banning. Corsmo appeared in several other 90s movies throughout his childhood, but in 93, he quit acting. Corsmo explained in interviews that he just wanted to be a normal child for a while. He did return to acting for a few films, such as the 2019 film Chained for Life, but now Corsmo primarily works as a professor for the Cleveland State University School of Law. And much like his predecessors on this list, his education was extensive. There's definitely a trend going on here. The next Hollywood star on our list isn't a lawyer, I promise. Jennifer Stone, who is known for her role as Harper on Disney's Wizards of Waverly Place, quit acting to become a registered nurse. Stone didn't technically quit acting, though. She took a break to focus on herself and her education, which is commendable. Stone spoke in an interview with KTLA5 about how becoming a nurse actually made her a better actress in the end and allowed her to better manage her fight with type 1 diabetes. Harper, come here. How's my makeup? Oh, good. Is my face shiny? Because sometimes in videos I look like a glazed donut. The original push for her to pursue nursing in the first place. Stone hasn't appeared in many films since she began nursing, but she is especially slated to play Sloane in the upcoming film The Perfect Night. This is a magical fish. This is a magical spoon. This is a magical spider. Oh, it's a real spider. Everybody remembers the sweet life of Zack and Cody, right? Rick continued his acting career until 97, when he came to the realization that, as a widower, it was too difficult to manage both raising his two children and traveling for the movies he was in. So, Rick quit acting to become a stay-at-home dad. You know what I did? I climbed on the ledge and tried to disconnect the cable, but I couldn't get in, so you know what I did? I turned up my TV real loud, too. Being there for his kids when they needed him the most was more important to him than landing his next big Hollywood role. Rick Moranis never remarried either. And you know what? Moranis has no regrets about his 24-year hiatus. Rick is slated to make his acting comeback in the Disney Plus reboot of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Did you know so many ex-Hollywood stars became lawyers? We sure didn't. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons on your way down. And as always, be safe out there.